We worked with this company, 21st Century 3D. Jason Goodman, who is a stereographer, and Pedro, who's his camera assistant. Jason's job is to really work the 3D and the separation of the cameras so that we're getting maximum 3D effects. I think we were all pretty fired up that we all kind of pushed our our boundaries and, and limits as filmmakers and we're able to really achieve some, some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna try to explain the 3D camera, but it's gonna be really difficult. It had triggers and uh, two red set up, looked like two eyes kind of shooting out. It pretty much just looked like Wally. -E. A Tyler mount is it's kind of a steady arm and it works with a with a set of gyros and a bunch of weights and balances to create a floating arm that's super stable and the operator holds it like kind of like a gunner rig. Three guys in the heli doing stuff, focusing, pushing record, all this kind of crazy stuff. That rig was probably 500,000 just with the cameras and tripod and put into like a brand new leather seat heli. So the whole rig was probably about three million dollars, which was casual. You know, we started shooting the first day we were working. It hadn't gone full Bluebird yet, but uh, we had the rig in the helicopter and we were able to lift off and shoot this rail feature right at the base area. Then we were able to actually take some of the footage in and do some really quick 3D conforms to get a look at, at what kind of effects we were getting. And, uh, you know, it was really cool for the first time to put the glasses on and see our stuff in 3D. Just mad layers, just definitely next level stuff. And then the next day, we got the weather we needed and we went to like the first jump feature that we had, had set up. The heli pattern started working out, the camera on the Tyler was working good. The boys started tagging a bunch of sweet tricks. All the sessions with the heli just went off. Pretty exciting when you're up at the drop in, the heli's right above you, and then you get the, the go ahead and you drop in, you can just hear it all around the place. Just look up at him and he's just hanging out basically 20 feet above our heads, so you can kind of talk to him. But it's so much fun once you land a trick, you get so pumped and you can just hear the heli flying around like. We're all just having a good time. 